Christina Eve and welcome back to my channel shine strong live long so you might remember the song that I sang for the shine session episode 2 called save a life if you haven't be sure to go and check it out I'll have it linked somewhere up here and at the end of the video but for a while now I've been trying to record this song Guys, people have been asking about it. I performed it at some churches and other events, but actually recording the song at the time was really far from my mind. Um, so last year, I started feeling really guilty. Um, there was a tug on my heart uh, to just get this song recorded and done. So I did it really fast. My talented brother did all of the music for it and we just went with it. We exported it. No mixing and mastering, and at the time, neither one of us actually knew how to do that. Uh, yeah, it's very important, guys, because uh, I just put it on Spotify. Uh, but when I actually sent it to like radio stations, they could tell that it wasn't professionally done. So they told me, try again. Yeah, no, not this time, but try again. So, uh, so fast forward a year, I finished grad school, I started a new job, and I thought that it would be pretty fun and easy to set up my own studio at home. I was very determined. <laughs> testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two. Hey everyone, so I got most of my equipment here. I found out that I needed a different type of cord to plug my aux cord in to, to hear it. Um, and so then I called my brother. Say hey, Nate. So, and then, not even just my brother, but my brother's friend. Hey, it's Mark. My cousin Martin came too, and very quickly we all got sidetracked. And dirty and sweet. $400. And I like cookies because they are sweet. With my home studio, I recorded an instrumental track. Um, it's the one that's behind the prayer devotional video. But I had some issues, y'all, getting the vocals recorded. I think I like installed the driver or something wrong on my computer, or I don't know. But uh, I will do an in-depth home studio video later on. After months of trying to do this, I just went to a professional. Uh, I went to Soul Haven in Virginia Beach and they hooked your girl up. On October 24th, my brother Nate, who already has dope instrumentals like on Spotify, um, if you look up Nate's and Thomas, his music is on the background of my America Made Me an Angry Black Woman video. Um, as well as my friend Calvin, we all went to the studio and recorded my song. Alright, so this is at 70, let's see how this feels. So when you say you had to do it, like the hardest song you recorded, did you ever record like with a fucking song? Good program. Nothing else matters but the kingdom, and I'ma do my best to get in. Within a week, my song was finished, and it was played on the radio this past Sunday. I co-hosted the Morning Joy radio show with my friend, mentor, and Not Of This World Network branding client, Sheila Lee. She's fabulous, guys, and I'll be helping her relaunch her books and uh, her brand and some other things on Facebook, so be sure to follow her at S4JW Encourage. I am so blessed to have such talented friends and family. BJ, of course, is there, as well as my brother's fiance, Tamara, and they're both great singers. Just in case you know, I needed to lay down some background vocals, but y'all, God is so wonderful and deserves all the glory for answering my prayers and anointing this song. I sang it about twice and I was done. And all of us were in and out of there within like three hours. So shout out to my amazing vocal coach, Shawanda Witherspoon from Perfecting Sounds. Be sure to check out Save a Life by Christina Eve wherever you stream or buy your music iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, wherever. 
I really appreciate your support. And remember that today is a new day. A day where you and I have been given the opportunity to choose better, love stronger, and shine brighter than the day before. Shine strong, live longer.